The iPad Pro is Apple's premier tablet. The professional-grade slate, starting at $1,099 for the 12.9-inch model, is the most powerful in Apple's iPad stable, which also includes the standard iPad, $449, the iPad Mini, $499, and the iPad Air, $599. All four tablets carry the same basic design, meaning it's what's on the inside that sets them apart, and the Pro has the ultimate spec sheet. For 2022, Apple primarily upgrades the iPad Pro's processor with its laptop-grade M2 chip, while the fresh silicon does boost the tablet's speed and enable some new video capabilities, nearly every other aspect of the Pro has been carried over from the previous model. The iPad Pro is a capable MacBook alternative for creatives, but the iPad Air offers nearly all the same features and performance at a more budget-friendly price, and thus remains our editor's choice iPad for creators. The iPad Pro comes in two sizes, one with an 11-inch screen, starting at $799, and one with a 12.9-inch screen, starting at $1,099. Whichever one you pick, the iPad Pro's basic design is now in its fourth generation, with little changing on the exterior since the outline first debuted in 2018. This review is based on the 12.9-inch model. Apple has crafted compelling hardware with a large, high-resolution glass display and an impossibly thin aluminum chassis. Both the 11-inch Pro and 11-inch Air measure 9.74 by 7.02 by 0.23 inches, HWD, and weigh 1.03 pounds, while the 12.9-inch model stretches to 11.04 by 8.46 by 0.25 inches, HWD, and 1.5 pounds. The former fits well into mid-size bags and maybe even some purses, while the latter requires a larger messenger bag, briefcase, or backpack to tote about. Either way, you get a tablet of superior design and quality that's surprisingly light. The 12.9-inch Microsoft Surface Pro 9, starting at $999, in comparison, measures 11.3 by 8.2 by 0.37 inches and weighs 1.95 pounds, and the 12.4-inch Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus, starting at $999 measures 11.23 by 7.30 by 0.22 inches and weighs 1.28 pounds. The iPad Pro's aluminum frame is top-notch. The side edges are flat with rounded corners and the rear panel is an expansive sheet of metal broken up only by the centered reflective Apple logo and the camera module in the corner. Three copper contacts are visible on the rear, as well, they are for connecting the iPad Pro to select accessories such as the Magic Keyboard. Cellular-capable models include a tray for SIM cards, though they also support eSIM. Apple sells the iPad Pro in silver or space gray. We tested the latter. If you want color, you'll have to go with the iPad Air, which comes in five different fun shades. Apple sprinkles various buttons and ports around the outer edge. The power button and volume toggle reside on the corner nearest the camera module. These buttons have a fine profile and work well. The USB-C 4.0 Thunderbolt connector is centered on one short edge. It's the only port, and there's no slot for microSD memory cards. If you're keen on accessories, you'll need a USB hub to connect to multiple devices. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.